On the morning of Monday, May 30th, more than 300 runners and walkers gathered near Children's Park in downtown Lake Orion for the start of the 6th annual Orion Veterans Memorial Day 5K and 5-mile run. At 9 a.m., those taking part in the 5-mile run lined up at the start and followed a course that took them on to Paint Creek Trail and across the Van Tassel Pedestrian Bridge. And just a few minutes later, 5K participants lined up to begin the next phase of the event. our sixth year and we really started this as a fundraiser uh, for the Orient Veterans Memorial, uh, Jenny and I, uh, but it's kind of grown into more than that. It's kind of a celebration of America. Uh, so we've just been encouraging people before they do their barbecues and they grill out and they do their boating, which is all part of what we should be doing today, take a little bit of time in the morning to uh, recognize why we're able to do all those things. And so it does bring us a lot of, a lot of uh, joy to see the numbers, record numbers for sure this year. Uh, and with walk-ups, we'll definitely beat our biggest total so far, over 300 runners and walkers and families. And it's kind of become an annual event. And I've heard from a lot of people this week that said they look forward to this day with their family, kind of kicks things off the right way. So um, Jenny, Jenny though, Jenny Body gets, gets all the credit because she works really hard for months to pull this off. All the registration fees benefit the long-term sustainability of the memorial, which is one of the best memorials, in my opinion, around. And this is the only fundraiser that the memorial does all year, so all these funds raised goes to maintaining that. Crossing the finish line first was Eric Berg of Shelby Township, who ran the five-mile course in 29 minutes, 18.04 seconds. Is there anything special about coming out on this race on Memorial Day? Yeah, yeah, just kind of celebrating our, our troops and, and uh, the sacrifice that they made out there. It's just a really great way to um, just celebrate community and, and celebrate their lives and, and the sacrifice that they've given for us. So, Finishing first in the 5K race was Matthew Antonio of Lake Orion with a time of 21.49.5. And the first female to finish the 5K was his wife, Paula, who crossed the finish line at 23.37.5. Well, we like supporting the community. Paula was looking for a, a local race to do, so Paula signed up about... Uh, a couple days ago, really. <laughs> yeah, a couple days ago. And uh, uh, actually, I just came down to support her. I've been doing a little run earlier today and jogged down to see her run and thought I'd jump in and, and do the race last minute, so I just signed up. He literally <laughs> signed up. Surprise. Yeah, 10 minutes before the race starts, and then he wins it. Describe the course, conditions, uh, atmosphere today. Oh, this is, this is beautiful. We love the downtown area, the downtown park, and we're local runners to the, the Pink Creek Trail, so, oh, we love it. And it was great condition today, actually, especially with the trees, everybody's, everything's in bloom, and it smells so great. So, yeah, it was, it was a great course. I love it. Everyone who participated in the event received a dog tag at the finish line. Immediately following the race, representatives of the American Legion Post 233 gathered in Children's Park for a ceremony and rifle salute. Ladies Auxiliary President Sandy Boyd tossed a wreath into the waters of Paint Creek to honor those who lost their lives at sea. The ceremony followed an earlier ceremony that took place in East Lawn Cemetery on Orion Road where many veterans are buried. For those folks who gave their life, uh, we can't do enough. And my father happened to be a POW at the, uh, at the Battle of the Bulge. Luckily, he got out. And when he got home, he was six foot four. He weighed 91 pounds. And I think of him, and I think of all the folks who have given their lives. So we have this glorious day and being able to have a country that we live in. And this is why we do this. In downtown Lake Orion, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ON TV News.